<laughs> That's rude. <laughs> Today, I have an entire day of semen testing booked. We got Paul going out. We got Sienna going out. Uh, summer student Tyson is going out. And we have a bunch of retests. So these bulls had already been previously tested for their breeding soundness. Some of them failed and they're getting a retest because we think the defects weren't too serious. And... There's a few other things that can happen, things like persistent frenulums that we need to, to check. So that's a, a tie back of the bull penis. Uh, we surgically fix those, but we like to do a recheck on them as well. So that's going to be the entire day of work, maybe. Semen testing over and over again. I say it's all in my hand over and over again. Sienna, this was like the worst slide ever made. That's because it has your writing <laughs> on it. I was gonna yell at you, and then I looked down at it, and it was the one that I did. <laughs> I was You're like, terrible. oh, this is the worst slide ever. <laughs> all right, I'm all caught up. No more slides. These are all counted. Let's go look at some semen testing. Bulls come in there. Up the alley. Is everybody working hard? Paul? Tyson. Okay, steps of semen testing. Step one, put the bull in the chute. Step two, uh, scrotal circumference of the bull.
step three. Mm, no palpation of the testicles and the uh, epididymis, the epididymi of the epididymises. Uh, rectal palpation, looking for any abnormalities, vesiculitis, and I'll just get to get the bowl, what? Warmed up. Get the bowl warmed up. Step, I don't know what step we're on anymore. Put in the electroejaculator probe. Uh, next step is semen collection. So that's with electroejaculator, starting off slow, a little bit of current uh, through the probe. Collect semen. After that, uh, check for full extension of the penis, looking for any abnormalities like warts and persistent frenulums. And then write down motility uh, grossly. So Sienna puts a little drop of semen on the microscope and takes a look at that. And then the next step is density and then staining. Uh, once it's stained, then I take a look at it uh, at 100x, looking for morphological defects. After that, we give them a pass or fail or decision deferred, and uh, then we repeat that over and over again.